Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing good and you're having a good day. Today I'm going to be doing a fun DIY project. I'm going to show you guys how to transform this purse into an all glitter purse. So all you're going to need is just Mod Podge and a foam brush and a regular paintbrush, a small one. If you have small spots um, on the purse that you need to kind of get in where the foam brush won't reach and all you have to do is just um, pour some Mod Podge. I used a little piece of wax paper here, poured out my Mod Podge and I'm just going in with my foam brush and I'm applying a nice pretty even layer of Mod Podge onto the purse here and just be careful on the edges um, you know where the leather stops. This will work on fabric too. It doesn't have to be leather. Just be careful of the hardware. Um, you could tape that up if you want to but I had a little paper towel off to the side and I just wiped that off as soon as I accidentally got some on there. I should have went in with my little brush um, around the little buckle fastener thing but I just cleaned it off right away so it was fine, no big deal. So the glitter I'm gonna be using on this purse is a chunkier glitter, but this will work with fine glitter, any type of glitter that you want, it will it will work. And like I said, you could do this on a fabric purse too. It doesn't have to be a leather purse. And this project, you guys, is so fun. I mean, I wanted to just show you guys how to do this on my channel because if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you know I love glitter it's just so much fun and the possibilities are endless you could really do this on anything I mean you can get really creative with it you could do kitchen canisters in your kitchen um, vases you can do mason jars um, to store things like you know if you do a lot of painting you could store your paint brushes in there you could do this on shoes you could do it on a jean jacket I mean all kinds of stuff you guys just anything you could think of it it'll work and I'll show you how to seal it and all that good stuff at the end of the video so as you can see I'm just going in and painting some Mod Podge on the purse um, if you're using an extra fine glitter or a fine glitter just be mindful if you're making your Mod Podge really um, even because with the extra fine particles of that glitter you can see lines sometimes so just try to be really careful but since I'm using a thicker glitter it doesn't really matter and the glitter I'm using today is Gatsby glitter by Glitter Chimp and this is actually a mixology glitter look at how pretty it is so it's got fine extra fine um, chunky extra chunky and jumbo glitter in it it's just got all kinds of glitter in it I will link um, their website and their information down below in the description if you guys want to check out some of their glitters they have some really fun glitters on there so I'm just covering the whole thing in glitter as you could see and just shaking off the extra Excess. And then what I'm going to do is let it dry for 24 hours and then we'll go in and do a second coat of glitter. And make sure you're working over like a big piece of wax paper like I'm working over so you can easily, you know, kind of gather the extra glitter and put it back into the jar. And I'm going to take a little paintbrush here and go in around the buckle and add my Mod Podge and then my glitter. So that way, you know, you don't, with the foam brush, it's kind of hard to get in that, those little spots. So here's what it's looking like. I'm going to let it dry and we will be back tomorrow for the second coat. Oh, and I forgot to mention, see the little red cup right there? I'm going to be placing the purse upside down over that cup. So that way it's, um, you know, nice and raised and I don't have to lay it on its side or anything while it's drying. So I was trying to show you the purse wasn't 100% covered. You can still see the leather in some spots. So we're going to be going in today, the next day, with a second coat of Mod Podge. So same thing as yesterday. Just go in and add that Mod Podge. Um, it's not as easy to apply the second day because you do have a little bit of texture on your surface here with the different, you know, chunky glitters and all that stuff. So it doesn't really paint on like it did the first time. Some spots it'll paint on and if you're having a hard time just kind of pounce your um, foam brush kind of just kind of jiggle it in there like that and that will get in there 
So every little spot of that purse is going to be nice and covered in Mod Podge. And like I said, just be really careful along the edge and along the hardware. Um, like I said, you could tape it if you want to, but I just didn't want to waste tape or anything because like I said, you can clean it off with a rag too. So just cover everything up with your Mod Podge and then we will add the glitter. So I have everything all nice and coated. I'm gonna go in with my second coat of glitter here and then I'll be letting it dry for 24 hours again. Um, I'm gonna place it over that red cup again and then we will be ready to seal it. So on the second application, you wanna go in and kind of push that glitter into the Mod Podge just like this. Um, we didn't do it on the first application because we were going to be going back in with Mod Podge on top of it anyway. So it was going to be um, sealed in with that second coat of Mod Podge. So you didn't need to really press that glitter down the first time. But the second time, um, your final coat of glitter, I mean, you could do as many coats of glitter as you want to, but you don't really need more than two in my opinion. But um, yep, just on your final layer of glitter, just push it down just like this so that glitter is really, really stuck down and is laying down flat, especially when you're working with chunkier glitter. With extra fine glitter and fine glitter, you don't really have to worry about pressing it down so much. Um, but with the chunkier glitters, you do kind of have to press it down into the Mod Podge so it lays nice and flat. And I decided I am going to do the strap on this purse. I wasn't sure if I was going to leave it, but to me it just kind of looked unfinished without having the glitter on that strap. So I'm just going to go in and add glitter on here and I only ended up needing to do one coat on the strap which was nice I didn't need to go back in the next day and do a second coat so I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours and we'll be ready to seal it so what I'm going to use to seal it is this Aquanet unscented hairspray I'm going to spray it with two or three coats. I ended up doing this one with two coats. You could also use this clear gloss spray. I used this spray to seal my glitter art canvas that I made a while back. I will link that video down below. Be sure to go check it out. That turned out really cool. It's a super simple glitter DIY canvas project, so you could do that for wall art in your home. I used that gloss spray to seal that painting, but on the purse I did two coats of the hairspray, and I'm going in with a large foam brush to brush off any glitter and that's all you have to do. You're all set. After I sealed my purse with the hairspray, I waited 24 hours to do the foam brush step just to make sure everything was all dry. I'm giving it a good shake as the last step and then I'll check it with my fingers, make sure no glitter comes off and then you'll know you are good to go. And here's a nice close-up of it. It's all finished. Um, it has been raining and snowing quite a bit here. So on a nice day, I am going to go in with that Rust-Oleum Gloss 2 times Clear Coat Spray that I showed and just spray it one time with that just to make sure everything is nice and sealed. But it turned out really awesome. It, this would be a good bag for like going out. But I wanted to just show you guys how to do this in case you wanted to do it. I mean, you could even do it. I think a baseball cap would be kind of cool just to do it on like the bill part and no glitters coming off on my fingers see it's um, nice and sealed with that hairspray so what do you guys think about this one let me know down in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that you give this a try if you love glitter like I do you can really do it on just about anything the possibilities are endless and if you liked it go ahead and leave me a like or another thing that would help me out is if you go watch a few more of my videos or even a playlist. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.